I'm John Napolitano with U.S. Wealth Management, live on the floor of the New England Food Show. I've got Carl Guggenmoss with me. Carl is the senior business consultant at SnapChef and the uh, Johnson & Wales Dean stud. Emeritus. You're Dean Emeritus. That's not just any old position there, Carl. Uh, it's okay. an old position. Yeah, I'll say. you got to be good to get there. Yeah. Now, we all know you need the right tools to do any job right, right but yes, then sir. keeping those tools in primo shape is another story. I've dealt so many knives in my life. Can you help us out here on how to kind of make dull yes. knives work better? Yes, of course. Thank and, you. Uh, I, I want to uh, right off the bat dispel a lot of misconceptions. First of all, a lot of accidents happen in the kitchen with knives, obviously, you cut yourself. But most accidents happens because your knives are dull, because you, do, you slip off the the food product that you have and then you're going to you cut yourself. So how do you keep a knife sharp? Well, first of all, it's important to have the right tool. And uh, one of the things is, especially for knives, is that you want to find, especially the larger ones, that they balance in your hand. You see this one, for example, balance perfectly. So you have yep. the same amount of weight in your hand as you have up front. Mm -hmm. So you never get the tendonitis or the, 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 the problems with your, with your arms getting tired. Now, how do you keep them sharp? Uh, most of the time, people at their home have a steel like this yep. that normally comes with a knife kit and it's important to, to use that every time before you do any kind of work with a knife. But a steel doesn't sharpen steel. Stone sharpens steel. It's harder than, than steel and also will uh, provide the, uh, the, the sharp edge that you need. What the steel does is when you look at the, the, the blade, the, 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 uh, the sharp end of the knife uh, under a microscope, when you work with it, a lot of ragged edges and a lot of burrs on it. When you start working on it, a lot of the steel kind of breaks off and because it starts to uh, magnetically or with, with food uh, uh, leftovers stick to the edge of the knife. Mm. So what you do is you learn to uh, kind of take those off before you work. And you just simply go down and let, let the uh, knife naturally guide you. That's why the steel is a little bit elongated and, or oval at the end so you can kind of uh, come down at the end and you make some very even kind of uh, uh, motions toward you. There's a guard on here so you, and you never want to do it this way obviously. <laughs> you always keep your hands back and hold it sort of uh, semi uh, vertical and or, or yeah, horizontal and then you just go down with your edge very easily and then over time you can go so Now the burrs are gone we've got a smooth surface. Right well that's that's uh, the norm, under normal working conditions, that's what you do every day. But eventually, because you're working with the knife, and especially on plastic knife uh, uh, cutting boards, which we use nowadays, uh, I grew up in wooden, uh, and when you use wooden cutting boards, uh, the, the, your knives don't, go in this, don't get as tall all the time. So what happens when your knife gets really dull? Well, the only solution is a stone. Now, you can buy a tri stone at home, but it's kind of cumbersome, and you have to find the right angle to do so. I have here, this is a commercial knife sharpener. So as you can see inside here, there are two opposite um, diamond stones. They're going to rotate in opposite direction. And then over here is a, 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 a plastic buffer that basically does the job like what the steel does. Uh -huh. So how do, we, how do we go about, when you buy that, you, obviously you can buy one like this, but these are, these are very expensive, you can order them. But <clears throat> Williams and Sonoma or other, other companies, they now sell smaller ones, but eventually you need a rotating electric or motor-driven stone to sharpen that edge back on. Find one that has the same type, that has the angle already built in. So you can all, you, the easiest way to do it then is hold your knife from the top, hold your knife firmly, don't hold it like this, hold it by the handle, put your hand on top and very carefully start at the edge and in one motion pull them down. So that's once, twice, three times, four times. Normally, at a normal use, that's that's enough. If the stone has enough motion and enough power to move your, uh, uh, the, the stone across and sharpen the knife, you be, you be, should be okay. So just then, one dumb question. The average homeowner that really messes that process up, what is it that they do that makes it not good? Well, I can't really demonstrate it because if you don't, if you're don't not careful, you no, your because if, yeah, and you can get hurt really bad too. If you, if you go on the wrong angle, ah. then it will pop up. Ouch. Uh, and you have a big cut in your knife. 
So do it very slowly. I do it one more time. Watch it very careful. Hold the knife straight. Maybe look from the top. And then when you make contact, in one keep uh, going. even motion, pull it down. Very nice. And then wipe it off. And then you, we do the same thing on the buffer. Hold it on the top. And then just run it oh, down one sound. time, two times, three times, four times. Then we clean it off again. And then you can do the litmus test of a sharp knife. I'm going to turn this off. Now the only thing that you cannot do on this is serrated knives. You can, but you have to really know the, uh, professionally how to do it because you have to go with each one yeah, of the Yeah, too the much groups. work. So how do I know that my knife is sharp again? Well, the easiest way is that why we brought the piece of paper. Ah. So you take a piece of paper, hold it straight, and then let the knife do the job. Just go like this. Wow. And when you have like a clean edge, just like here, you know your knife is sharp. Well done. Well, our viewers may never learn to sharpen a knife as well as you have, Carl. You do a phenomenal job. I thank, well, thank you so you. much, and congratulations on thank all your well-deserved right. success. All right. Thank you. Thank you.